Hi there, today I'll show you how I make this cursor selection animation using Adobe After Effects. The first step is preparing in Adobe Illustrator. I left my file in the description so you can download it and practice with me. So as you can see here, there are a square, four circles, one cursor or a mouse, and a flower, or you can change to any graphic you want. For this square shape, do me a favor, let's duplicate it. Give the copy one a solid color, any color of your choice because it's going to be a mask anyway. For the original outlining square, I'm about to do something pretty weird. Use a cut tool to separate it into four lines, using Y in the motion part. I think this color hides all the lines, so let's change to something brighter. Now you select all the layers, click into the tiny hamburger menu icon on the top right, choose release to layers sequence. Bring all the sub layers out, rename them anything you want. By doing so, you prepare the file ready to be animated in After Effects. Drop the AI file into After Effects. Oh, I forgot about the background color. You can go to Composition setting to change it into white or make a white solid layers at the bottom. Select all the layers. Go to Create, Create Shapes from Layers. To delete the old layers, click into one label color. Select Label Group, then you can delete them in a second. Well, it's not necessary to do this, you can still work with the original layers. It's just there are some layers that must be converted into shapes, and to make it easier, I just converted all of them. Start with the cursor. Hit the Y key to change its angle point to the center of the circle over there. I name it Circle 3. Uh, circle, cursor, it's pretty confusing, let's just name it a mouse. Now you can link the mouse to the circle 3. Move each anchor point of the lines to corresponding circles. Hold shift to select all four circles. Press P to show the position property. We want the current position to be the last keyframe. So, key this 3 position and move to somewhere, I will say 2 seconds. The circle 1 top left will actually stay there, so you don't have to change its position. The thing is, we want all the circles to be in the same point at the beginning, so you copy the position property of the circle 1 and paste it as a first keyframe of the others. Oh, this flower should be in the back. I think it's better now. Now link the line to the corresponding circle. Uh, I know it's confusing, let's just say line 1 to circle 1, line 2 to circle 2, and keep going. It looks pretty weird, but we're getting there. Select all the lines, press S for the scale property. First, make sure you unlink the X and Y values. For line 1, at the first keyframe, change the number to 0 and 100. The line 2 will be 100 and 0. Yeah, you may ask why. Uh, let me explain how can I say. The line 1 is a horizontal line, so you put the x value as 0. In contrast, the line 2 is vertical, so we change the y value to 0. The line 3 is similar to line 1, and so line 4 to line 2, so I use the whip tool to link them. Yeah, I know it's pretty confusing, so I left the working file in the description. Feel free to download and take a deep look. Alright, that was the first keyframe, so the last one will be 100 for both X and Y values. Yeah, I think it looks amazing. Now for the mask, choose a square mask layer. Press Y and change the anchor point to the center of the top left circle. Press S for scale, change the first keyframe to 0 and last to 100.
to mask the flower, drag the pick whip in the track matte column of the flower layer to the mask layer. And we're finally done. Let's take a look at the final animation. I know it's a bit tricky in the four separate lines and you may ask why I don't just scale the whole square. Here's a problem. The size of the line is not consistent when scaling, so that's why I cut it into four lines. But this is just my way, I just want to share it and I'm sure this is not the only way. If you have any better method to do this, please comment below. Thank you for watching and supporting me. I'm happy you found my video helpful. See you!